Well, this is certainly a uh, different view. <laughs> certainly, uh, that's glowstone. This is uh, this is weird. This is weird. This isn't how this world's supposed to be. Hello, everybody. Slop it here. And uh, well, I'm on my new computer, and it's working great. I'm running at uh, 57 to 59 frames. Um, and I was just screwing around with texture packs. This is. Cobble? Stone. Interesting. Um, I was just screwing around with texture packs and stuff. I actually was trying to get the vanilla tweaks texture pack. It just does uh, like clear glass and um, some potion effects. Like they aren't as in your screen. If you're on fire, it's not as high up on your screen. Stuff like that. And the shield takes up less room. Uh, it's not working for whatever reason. So I just tried another texture pack. This one was really highly rated. And I'm a little... I mean, the wood looks good. The rest of it, this looks really weird. The portal, that's kind of cool. It's a modern texture pack, so it probably doesn't work particularly well with wood. But anyway, what's up? Uh, back in the world, that is some green, green grass. I tell you that much. Uh, it's running so smooth. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to the Project Singularity server. There's just water floating in air. You know what? This is too weird. Give me a second. Yeah, this is the Sortex Fanver, which is um a pretty popular, from what I've seen just watching other people and streamers and stuff, this is like one of the most popular texture packs. It's uh it's okay. It's all right. I, I mean, I like playing with vanilla, you know? I'm uh, crazy like that. So that's the clay. I like playing with vanilla, so... Dude, what do you sell back here? Smite 5? Oh yeah. Oh, you are creepy looking, sir. Oh my. Uh, anyway, yeah, so just playing around with texture packs, but um, let's go back to vanilla and talk about today's episode. Safe to say that this feels better. <laughs> this feels better. Um, even though it's raining, back in our vanilla texture, and let's let's take a talk about what I want to do today. So we have been working on this project a while. It's been going great. We got a couple stores open. We got a ton of villagers to trade with. It's been going well. I've been enjoying myself, and that's all well and good. That's not going to change. Can we send you on your way? Nope, we're getting cactus. Cool. So, yeah, we're uh, over here. We got villagers. We got all kinds of stuff. It's all fun and exciting. Cartographer, again, I already have too many of these guys. Two is too many. What I want to do today is um, we have the shopping district. Am I the only one online? I am. I'm going to sleep real fast so we can get rid of the rain. But we have the shopping district that is currently kind of inaccessible for people because we deal with emeralds in this shopping district. Um, we deal with emeralds, very common for villager trades. We deal with emeralds, which is fine, except emeralds are a pain in the rump to get, okay? Emeralds, I mean, if you have like a villager farm, you can trade with them, blah, blah, blah. But otherwise, emeralds are just a pain. So I want to make a bank where people can give us diamonds or iron. Diamonds or iron, either one's an acceptable form of payment. And it'll convert it into emeralds so that they can shop in our wonderful district. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're also going to fill it with the, well, we're going to try and get the best trades for each villager. Um, in terms of, like, farmers, you know, you can trade wheat, you can trade pumpkin, you can trade melon. Those are easy trades. We're going to get a few farmers. Uh, the pumpkin trade especially is just a gem. That's who I've been using to get all my emeralds is a farmer. We're going to use a farmer to do all that sort of stuff. Um, I also want to get, you know, a high-ranking paper trade, uh, the rotten flesh trade. Basically, I have a bunch of villagers that people can trade with themselves if they want, if they don't want to pay us money to get emeralds. But yeah, that's the idea with the bank. I was thinking I'm going to build it over here, sort of on the entry point. Well, not even the entry point, sort of next to this portal. Probably like right, you know what, let's give it this water, let's give it this waterfront property. No, beaches, it's a, it's a bank. It doesn't need waterfront property. Maybe we'll tuck it 
Mm, I kind of want it on the main path. I should have thought this through before starting to speak. You know what? We'll put it like right here. I was going to do an archway. And then it's going to be sort of the village with all the shops. So I'm thinking, why don't we put it like right here? First things first, though, we should probably just at least put down the foundation for the archway so that we know how far of a distance we have from that. And then, you know, we'll do some terraforming and whatnot. Um, I'm also going to get some materials ready, so I'll be back in a jiffy and we'll start work on this. All right, well, uh, we're going to put it somewhere around here. The, there's going to be like an archway that says welcome or something. That's all well and good, so we want the bank uh, somewhere like right here. I have not planned it out at all, so... You know, it's one it's one of those things that we're just gonna we're just gonna wing. I brought over a ton of quartz, um, because I mean banks have to do wealth, right? That's part of that's part of a bank's appearance. If they don't look wealthy, you don't want to put your money with them. Um, so let's look over our other quartz building is right there. The art gallery, which uh, I love. I was just walking through it had a bunch of leftover quartz, so I went and took that. But I just love the art gallery and it looks Kind of like a bunch of the paintings popped off. Maybe you just can't see them when you magnify. But that's our art gallery. It has every painting in the game, and it's lovely. It's a lovely place. But um, we want it to be different from the bank. So the bank, we're going to do... I made a bank on Creativerse that I'm kind of taking ideas from because it's kind of how I envision a bank. And uh, yeah. So let's get started. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it today, but we'll try and we'll try and see what we can do. So here, I don't want it to be huge. That's another thing. I don't want it to be enormous. We need more of these slabs. We need more of these slabs. I kind of wanted to save. Um, I kind of want to save quartz because it's such an annoying block to go get. But I kind of wanted to see if I could get away with like sandstone on the floor. So basically, um, we're going to have it, hmm, how wide do I want it, I guess. First thing to decide, how wide do I want it? So there's going to be a two wide entrance, get that, going to be a two wide entrance, and then let's see, how wide, one, two, okay. Okay, these beacons, these beacons have got to stop. <laughs> these beacons have got to stop, at least for a little bit. I'll, I'll take the blocks off after, I guess. Sorry, Walden, I'm, uh, I'm destroying your work here, but those are annoying to build next to. All right, um, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to get the size of the interior figured out. So if we have that size, hmm, if we have that size, we'd have enough room for, let's say we want a four wide walkway down the middle, okay? Four wide walkway, you're walking, you have plenty of space, we want a counter at the end, well, we're going to have the guys to trade along the side. Along this side, we're gonna have a counter at the back that you can just trade in. And then we're gonna have stairways down because I, again, I kinda wanna do like vaults. I think would be cool. I think the six wide. I kinda wanna have like vaults for people to, um, you know, if they're over here, maybe they can put their emeralds in it. I know there's ender chests and stuff, but you know, it's pretend, it's a game. Let me actually just finish getting the floor laid out because I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want for it. Thought I'd bring you guys sort of through uh, my vision of this place, if you will. So uh, essentially, we're going to have pillars in front that go up to the roof. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to use pillar blocks here, but I just wanted to kind of lay out where this was. So this is the actual walls of the place, this inner ring. We're going to have sort of a ring of the sandstone going around. Um, and then inside is going to be um, sort of this large, a bit longer. But this side, we're going to have tellers, which are going to be the people, uh, the ones with the trades, you know, the pumpkin trades, so on and so forth. They're going to be on this side of the place. And then we're going to have stairs going down to the vaults on this side of the place and uh, just sort of a walkway down the middle. And then at the back, we're going to have some sort of system where you give diamonds or iron or whatever 
And I kind of want to make a way that we can count how much they put in and then give them the corresponding amount of emeralds, um, which could be, I think, a fun redstone build. So anyway, that's kind of the plan here. Uh, ignore how much pillar blocks there is at the moment because there probably won't be that many when we actually get down to it. Um, but what I do want to do is try something else in the front here because I don't like how much sandstone you see. Yeah, something like that could be kind of cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with building. It's not super exciting, but I just kind of want to show you guys uh, what I envision for this place. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the walls yet. It's sort of all just coming together on the fly. I'll see you guys with whatever happens next. Well, I got a bit more uh, complete. Got a bit more done. I've got the floor in. Uh, it's going to be a bit different. We're going to put it on a carpet, probably put lighting underneath the carpet, you know, that sort of thing. Where it's blank are where the walls are going to go. Um, well, I guess it doesn't make much sense. Uh, yeah, so um, we're going to have a row back there. So where it's blank, the walls are going to go, which is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do for the walls. Um, I kind of want glass in the front. I kind of want glass in the front. It takes so much quartz. Um, it takes so much quartz. I know I'm going to build the roof out of quartz stairs. So I'm trying to avoid using too much quartz in the build itself. You know what? Let's make some quartz stairs and figure out... No. No, we're not going to do that. Let's say let's figure out how tall the roof's going to be. But let's not do that. I think what I want to do is fill in the interior sort of, with what's going to be there. Yeah. So we got a wall at the back. Let's put a placeholder block. Uh, let's use quartz. Realistically, it's gonna end up being quartz. Um, I, uh, I apparently hate having fun and just wanna mine quartz. So we're gonna have maybe a space and then what block should I use for their booths? What block to use for their booths? Part of me saying spruce wouldn't be terrible because it kind of looks like a desk. Part of me saying that wouldn't be terrible. Part of me is saying it would be awful. That's probably too much spruce. Give me the slab. I mean, it does look like a desk. It does look like a desk. How many of these can we put, really? We can have three villagers with this particular layout. Hmm. That could be enough. We could put the rest in the basement if we wanted. Although we really wouldn't need more than, like, three, would we? We need the farmer. I mean, the paper guy isn't unbelievable. Neither is the rotten flesh guy. So I don't know. Maybe that would be enough. But that looks like too much spruce to me. Okay, well, we'll roll with three for now. Let's just finish those up because it's going to bug me if one of them is different. Let's finish setting these up. Bang. Yeah. How do I want to keep them in like that? No, we're going to have to have some sort of other block to connect them. Hmm. Let me go grab some more blocks. We'll see if we can't, like, get sort of a pallet going. Oh, I got some materials, and I want to try a few things. Um, these aren't going to work for me, I don't think. Let's try a uh, nice, like, sleek glass. Yeah, that could work. And then those are way too high. Those are way too high, uh, unless, let's get the vibe of a wall behind one of these. Yeah, if the villagers would stay there, that'd be great. That could work. Um, and then I still think we need something on top of the glass. I'm thinking maybe like white carpet would be nice. Kind of laid across. I didn't bring any. 
Let's uh let's do this real fast. Let's do this real fast. Bang. Try to get better at enderpearling. Uh, it's not bad. We actually overshot it. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's go in. Grab our... Uh, what do I come back for? I came back for wool. I came back for wool. E no, let's just take all of it. I've been using um, Walden's... Uh, this guy. Cartographer, right. I've been using Walden's... Um, Spider farm. He built a spider farm, which is great, because uh, you know we can get string from that and then turn it into wool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna need a sheep farm. The only problem I have is the only problem I have with uh, the sheep farm is like I built one already, but it's got all kinds of colors, which is great until you need just one color, right? Work? Does this work? Yeah, I could see that. And then a villager in there. Might have to wrap the carpet all the way around, though, huh? Kind of a cool little service desk, right? And then I'm thinking, okay, let's just kind of bring these out. We got three of them. Now, the wall... Uh, because of how we laid these out, we could do something like with the wall here. We might be able to save on quartz. We could use a separate material. Bring in a different color, maybe? I'm thinking the only thing that really would go with this is plain textures, right? Like, really. Plain textures are... So I think we're gonna have to get some clay. Let's say like the only like clean texture I can think of. Some like colored clay in here. I think that would look nice. Um, the other thing we can do. No, I think really colored clay is our only option. Ooh, I actually have just enough wool, don't I? Yeah, and then you know what we can do? If we use a colored clay, I don't know what color we would use. But we could use a colored clay and then um, add in some like colored carpet. You know what I mean? So like if we have colored clay pillars here like in the wall, which I think would be cool, then we could add some like color to the carpet and make some cool patterns. So really the only question is what color do we want? Which is a big one. That's a big question. All right. I'll think about it, but for now, I'm uh, I'm not in an uber creative mood at the moment. You know what I mean? I'm in one of those moods where I'm just not feeling the creative juices, which is fine. You know, I think we all have those uh, occasionally. And um, I think what I want to do is leave all this stuff here. Uh, yeah, we'll take some of the wood. We got our flying bow. Anyway, I think I'm going to take you guys over to the end because um, Walden built something really cool over at the end. I'm going to leave these beacons off for now. Walden built uh, this amazing farm at the end, and I want to show it to you guys. <laughs> Walden doesn't make videos. Walden plays a lot, but he doesn't make YouTube videos or anything. Um, ooh, the path's going a different direction. Pumpkin Pat's Chicken Christmas Village. Is that all one thing, or is that three separate things? We got a sneak preview? Like it goes off. Looks like it goes off in that direction. I'll check that out off camera. But yeah, Walden doesn't record videos, but he builds a lot of cool things. So I'm taking it as my civil duty to show you guys what's up. But he built this awesome uh, farm over in the end. So we did have an end farm already, uh, built by Crane. But um, Crane didn't really decorate it. He just built one, and it works great. It was awesome. I used it a ton uh, once I found out it actually existed. This seemed like a ridiculously short distance for a minecart, but uh, all right. Anyway, uh, so Walden went in there and for whatever reason decided he was going to build another end farm, but make it kind of a, a step up, a step in a ridiculous direction. So it's actually this direction. So that's the old one. I think I've shown you guys that one. 
No, the old one's over that way. That's the pathway to it. Anyway, let's go into Wallens because it's uh, it's really cool. It's really impressive. And he used, I mean, look at how much purper this is. This is a ridiculous amount of purper. If you go into the other end, there's like no chorus fruit anywhere close to where you spawn in. My farm wasn't built to, uh, the purper farm me and Walden built together was not meant to make this amount. All right. So yeah, here we go. We're in the farm. Uh, first off, let's just, this place is beautiful. A lot of glowstone, a lot of endstone. I mean, it's beautiful. I actually don't know all the farms he has in here. I know he was putting all kinds of farms, but ridiculously sized cow farm. Okay. Ridiculously sized sugarcane farm. All right. Is there anything down here? Just a massive, probably just to build the thing on top of it, really. Probably just a massive scaffolding. All right. Let's go over here. We have, oh, is this just wheat? Just wheat. Carrots, just carrots. Now, I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm sure Walden will give me an answer because he watches these videos occasionally. If he watches this one, Walden, I mean, it's, it's an amazing build. I think it's breathtaking, but why all the farms? Just I feel like he's going to give me a sarcastic answer like he always does. Oh, man, I just did it because I could, you know? I don't know. Um, but, okay, potatoes, very cool. Walden's uh, the master of sarcastic answers, but holy sh... You know what? I'm going to harvest these pumpkins. I'm going to harvest these pumpkins to trade. You know what? I really don't need them. I'm going to put them... No. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was about to take them. I was like, right. I built an automatic pumpkin farm um, at spawn, and I've been going and just taking pumpkins. There's so many freaking pumpkins in there. It's unbelievable. So, very cool, though. I think Walden built a melon farm next to it, if I'm not mistaken. In here, it looks like villagers are going to be in here. I'd assume that's what's going to be in here. Also, can we get... There's no villager that trades for um, armor. Oh, these are the books. Action. Oh, this is way cooler than what I did. This is brilliant. Oh, this is actually really nice. Oh. This is really nice. Wow, he's been enchanting, huh? Let's just go through these. Uh, okay, so he's been like doing smaller enchanting stuff. Very cool though. Um, but yeah, there's no villager that trades for ender pearls, which is kind of a bummer. This is going to be so loud. Apparently, I'm like looking at OBS because I'm recording a bit differently now so I can sort of see. And there's no levels coming, which probably means that... It broke again, but whatever. All right, uh, enchanting room. All kinds of anvils. This place is awesome. And then, of course, you have the Ender Farm. The Enderman Farm. Um, I did notice a lot of them seem to be dying over here. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal. But yeah, so you stand here and they're all one hit. The ones that are uh, alive. Yeah, it seems like occasionally you just have the odd one die. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's because they're on a slab. Maybe he measured it out, and because they're landing on a slab, like... I bet if I took that slab away, they all die. Or if I put it one up, they might not die at all. You know what I mean? I feel like the slab might be placed right at that level. Either way, breathtaking farm. Um, well done, Walden. I mean, I don't even want to think about how long it took to get this much purper or how long it took to build this. Well, I know how long it took because it he was on here. Like, every time I was on, he was on. He's like, I'm working on the Ender Farm. And it is something to behold. Looks like he's not done. I imagine he wants to put water over the whole thing. But this is really cool. There's the platform. Are those slime blocks? No, okay, they kind of look like slime blocks, don't they? From this view? Whatever. Uh, either way, this was Walden's build. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, started the bank this episode. I'm going to be probably finishing that up next episode. I just, you know, lost the uh, the urge. Lost that creative urge, you know? Which is fine. 
um i think so next episode i'll be back we'll be doing more i hope you guys enjoyed looking at walden's build uh leave a like comment what you guys want to comment i guess and subscribe for more whatever i'll see you guys later ciao